Hello friends, welcome to Basic Electrical YouTube channel. In this video, again I am providing uh, solutions for uh, uh, MCQs related to Basic Electrical Engineering Lab. In previous two videos, we have done the same pattern for set 1 and set 2. And now this is uh, set 3. Okay, set 3 paper. So there are 10 questions. Let we can discuss one by one. So before that, uh, please give like to this video and share this video as many friends you know if you not yet subscribed please subscribe to our channel so let's start uh, first question in this set when the same voltage appear across the branches then the branches are said to be connected in series parallel series parallel all of this no only second option is correct see these are the branches okay let me take the branches consisting of resistance Okay, if the branches are connected like this, see for all the branches, let me take R1, R2 and R3. I applied some voltage. What is voltage across R1? See this entire voltage is applicable to R1. Similarly, same voltage applicable to R2 also. Even R3 also connected to the same supply voltage. So in all these branches, voltage is same. So this type of connection we can call it as parallel okay so when the same voltage appear across the branches then the branches are set to be connected in parallel next a series rlc circuit is operating at unity power factor keep in mind unity power factor then the net reactance of the circuit is option one xl xc zero xl minus xc see correct option is zero okay got it the net reactance, the reactance should be zero. See, actually, uh, at unity power factor, this is the condition. XL should be equal to XC. Okay. This should be the reactance. When XL is equal to XC, then, in, then only you can predict uh, unity power factor. Actually, in series RL, RLC circuit, the impedance of series R circuit written like this. R plus J XL minus j xc see xl and xc will be equal however uh, xl is having comes under plus j imaginary axis like this okay this is uh, let me take current voltage drop across resistor is uh, vr voltage across inductor is uh, vl and voltage across capacitor is vc so what is vl i into xl what is vc i into xc so if XL and XC values are equal, this is complete positive voltage and negative voltage. Both are having equal and opposite magnitude. So cancel each other. So finally you will get zero. Okay. Now overall, this is the phasor diagram. See voltage, voltage is coincide with the current. So phase angle between voltage and current is zero. Cos zero is one. So it operates unity power factor. What is the net reactance? The net reactance will be zero. So in this available option, so this is a correct way, okay, zero. Otherwise, uh, you can make another option. The net reactance should be XL is equal to XC. So this is also uh, correct, but this option is not given here. So uh, nearest option is zero only, okay, because both these reactants are opposite to each other. So cancel each other at XL is equal to XC. That the net reactance will be obviously zero. Fine. The apparent power in a three phase system is given by. See, keep in mind apparent. There are uh, three types of power. One is called a uh, real power. That is root three VL IL cos pi. Okay. We can also write another way. This is in terms of line voltages. In terms of phase voltages, we can write root three vph ih into cos pi what is this power real power okay what they asked they asked apparent power apparent power formula three phase apparent power is root 3 vl into il that is correct otherwise three times of vph into ih this formula in terms of line volt line quantities this formula in terms of phase quantities so this is called apparent power 
one more power is a reactive power that formula is root 3 vl il sin pi in terms of phase quantities that is uh, three times of phase voltage phase current into sin pi this is reactive power reactive power but what the question asked apparent power so you have to select these two formulas let me see the apparent power in three phase system is given by see our formula is here okay root 3 e l i l so they can use this one also root 3 v l i l the voltage may be either v or e okay this is a correct option see this this first option is uh, active power okay root 3 v l i l e l i l cos pi is active power second option is reactive power second option is reactive power and the last option three times of phase voltage phase current in cos pi this is also active power only but in terms of phase like this 3 vph iph cos pi in this format okay so it is uh, it is also active power but what they asked apparent power so option 3 is correct next the eddy current and hysteresis losses are called eddy current and hysteresis losses are types of iron losses even iron losses is also called as core loss core loss is also called as constant loss these two losses are constant so correct answer is all of the above okay got it okay iron losses and uh, hysteresis losses is a type of uh, core losses core loss is called as iron and iron is also called as constant loss so all of the above is correct option water is to be regularly poured into the earthing pit to keep the resistance low okay uh, same question is repeated from the previous uh, you can watch uh, set 2 so I, I give an explanation over there next for a given frame size of dc generator the emf generated emf generated is proportional to flux and speed speed and flux see both is correct okay speed and flux see uh, mechanical is required mechanical input electrical is the output whatever the armature runs at what speed it runs and at that particular speed it going to cut the flux based on that emf will be generated so emf generated should be uh, proportional to both speed as well as flux if you want you can uh, write an equation what is emf formula pi p n z by 60 a see if flux increases generated voltage increases if speed increases voltage generated also increases that's why eg is proportional to flux and speed got it so i selected that option next a dc dash motor is nearly a constant speed motor see shunt motor is a constant speed motor and series motor is variable speed motor compound motor lies in between okay next salient pole rotor is suitable for dash speed low speed moderate high both one and two no it is applicable for low speed salient pole alternator okay having more number of holes we are using generally in uh, hydro power plants okay and non-salient one more is the opposite to this question is non-salient non-salient uh, alternator is used for high speed okay for high speed okay we can select non-salient for low speed uh, salient pole type rotor is recommended next the slip is given by ns minus n two part tariff is charged on what basis connected load unit consumed maximum demand so correct option is both second one this is also correct and this is also correct all together okay they are given last option both two and three say two part tariff they are going to fix some uh, fixed charges for maximum demand and how much energy is consumed okay for that uh, again uh, separate charges will be there all together is called uh, this is one part this is other part so finally two part tariff connected load is not uh, recommended okay once load connected then only um, its loads operated units will consume how much energy consumed that that is important unit consumed and maximum demand that is called two-part tariff so thank you so much for watching the video 
please like share and um, comment about this video whichever the options if i am wrong please put it in a comment box so i will give clarity for uh, those options okay so meet your next uh, video uh, set number 4 thanks for watching